All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC Heavyweight Division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. To get us started with the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levin. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, presenting the challenger, the warrior. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 154 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Grandmaster. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want God's love, do it now. Go back to your corner. Strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge and the striking to carry the victory. Looking to land the right hand. He misses. Oh, oh big nice. knee. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Got to the clinch, controlled the posture, and land some big knees from the close. Oh, big head kick. Can 
continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this. I'm exhausted trying to call all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, I hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Ooh. Throwing that jab, no good. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. And they separate. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Right there. Big leg kick lands. Nice one, two there. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee with the body. Big kick. to go to the counter. Ultimately, the execution not there. That's a miss. Misses with that punch. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. And there comes the separation now. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. He engages in a single collar tie here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Superman punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh! Massive kick to the head. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is maybe John. John, there's a, there's a weight difference. I don't know if you know jujitsu much. You miss a lot of your classes. If I'm gonna do this to anybody, it's Andy. Making all these shots count. It up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big powerful punch lands. Now we get back to range. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Trying to kick the leg out. Ooh wee! Ooh wee! What a right hand by this young man. He's throwing every part of himself into this big leg kick. Final seconds of round one. Came of inches right there. Oh, it was a good night if that landed. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of time. All right, let's get to round two. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. He loaded up there on that high kick. 
kick. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that check. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Great punch. Big head kick land. Oh, wow! Head kick. Oh, straight right. Oh, nice right hand. He blocks the shot. Big head kick land. What a fantastic Great takedown. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Got clipped with the right hand. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Back to his feet. Table inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landed. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Nice punch lands over the top. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, nice. Punches broke. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Huge block there. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Right hand upstairs. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Stuffs the takedown there. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Back to the feet now. Well, no surprise, he gets the takedown there. Over and over again, he attacks, he secures, and on we go. Under a minute to go. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Close guard. Both fighters back to their feet now. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Good stick. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Slips to avoid the right. 20 seconds left. A nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Over and over, he landed on a big body kick. All right, so the kicks to the body, certainly the big storyline in that previous round. DC, take us through the replay. He did a fantastic job of finding his spots. He was sneaking that kick right up under the elbow and landing those nasty body kicks. He did a great job of recognizing a weakness in his opponent's game and really taking advantage of it. That's 
Johnson. Let this guy know who you are. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Got him whip his hip into that kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in box class, hands up, chin down. Way to hide that leg. And both guys really throwing with a force. Continuing to work the body to great effect. Right hand upstairs. And now he's hurt. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you get the knife, that one may be right on the spot. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. How about that shin? Well, no surprise, he goes for the takedown there, unable to get the fight to the canvas. This is a testament to his opponent, his ability to see the shots coming, defend them, and make the fight happen where he wants to. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. A complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Real speed kick. Big punch lands through the middle. Single collar tie there. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, straight right. He's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Nice boot at once. Oh, he's up to beat his opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Kane Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. If this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Big shots being landed on both sides here. That one landed clean. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Good mark. Look at him driving his head into his own body with that body. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Lands with the kick there. No. Oh! Huge right hand! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Oh! No, he's up. But he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Oh, straight right. Block that kick to the body. Thirty seconds to go in the round. Oh! All right, twenty seconds to go in the round. Nice straight punch. Oh, Superman punch! Well, 
Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon in this room. Had him hurt, almost finished. Look at him on the stool. He's still wobbling this round. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, that's gonna soften him up. Massive knee to the bottom. He's back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And they separate. Right there, bro. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corners look. Oh! 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 And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. Exactly what he was looking for here tonight. 
Well, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 47 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Grandmaster. All right, so heavyweight title retained as the headline inside this arena here tonight. Congratulations to the still heavyweight champ. Uh, once again, proven he's the elite among the elite. In a division where everything can change in a second, this guy has brought consistency to something that is so volatile. What a champion, what a 